Accurate local forecast with meteorologist Jackson Chastain starts now. Well, it's dry in most places, but certainly not everywhere. Anvil being one of the exceptions. In fact, you can actually see some of that rain falling down. It's light rain, but it is rain, and it's most certainly uh, causing kind of a damp day here in Lebanon Valley College. So, you know, for, but for the most of the morning, I mean, that's how it was. I mean, mostly dry, and then one or two places are going to get some of these showers. And right now, nearly crickets. I mean, you got a few, like a few pockets here and there where rain might be falling. Overall, though, it is really, really just drizzly and relatively dry outside. We have a low pressure system just off the coast of the mid-Atlantic. That's the big driver of all of this and not under kind of the bullseye in this circumstance. That's actually could be you know, attributed to uh, places like Connecticut and New York, where they're actually getting pretty heavy flooding in places like Manhattan and the Bronx and uh, all of that. So thankful that we're not under that situation right now. And, you know, we, we need rain in places, but if we're not going to get a lot, then, you know, what's the point, right? And right today has been one of those days where, you know, maybe you wish it just wasn't because it, it becomes more of an irritant than it does a benefit. And as we get through the rest of the day, we expect more of the same, maybe a little bit of, uh, up, you know, upgraded shower activity as you get into the evening and overnight hours, Friday into Saturday. But that's about it. Things clear out then and we get through the rest of the weekend and things stay dry and actually more sunshine starts to appear. So and if you do get some rain, don't expect totals to be very high anyways, staying well below a tenth of an inch pretty much everywhere. I mean, you got to go to Allentown, uh, not even in our viewing area uh, to see an area that has over a tenth of an inch of rain. So it, that's not really our, our, our really our thing here. Is we're not we're not supposed to be getting a lot of rain today. We do sit in the mid to upper 60s because we have an easterly wind though. That brings a lot of those clouds back in to south central Pennsylvania and keeps them there because the mountains tend to block a lot of that moisture. So we're stuck with what we have. Thankfully, a nicer bout of weather coming in next week. We get into the 80s by Tuesday. We start off where we're at right now, mid to upper 60s, 10 degrees below that average, by the way. And then within a few days, we're several degrees above average. So we're kind of flipping that script there. I'm not complaining, but just kind of an interesting start, especially since it is the month of October, literally tomorrow. We're starting off the next month, one of the cooler months typically with above average temperatures. And that has a lot to do with this upper level ridge, which extends across much of the United States, a lot clears the air, allows for a natural increase in those temps. And as you get through the weekend into next week, a very dry, sunny stretch in the 80s, cool mornings, lots to look forward to there. And of course, James, I know he's gonna look forward to this. I'm actually looking forward to it too, because it's not, it's gonna be like a dry heat. So it won't be like uncomfortable or anything. And uh, I know it's not going to get any better than that. You know, it's going to start to get cooler and let's not think about that. Just focus <laughs> on the positive. A there beautiful forecast the here in the now. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Jackson. We'll be right back.